Hey everybody. Well, I am here again for your midweek recovery to practice update. And I hope that you are watching back. And if you are, thank you so much. Type replay in the comments if you happen to be watching back. And thank you so much for joining. So um, here is your midweek without the sirens this time update for recovery. So if you have not already heard about Recovery to Practice, I would love to tell you about it and let you know that Recovery to Practice is about bringing the principles of holistic recovery into our everyday life practice. And this is not just for the University of North Texas, even though I am here in our Recovery to Practice headquarters, but this is for anyone who is interested in holistic recovery. So that can be a student, that can be an educator, maybe you're an addiction professional, maybe you're a peer support provider, and maybe you're just someone who supports others who are in recovery. And if so, we would love to have you part of our closed community recovery to practice. And if you are a member and you're watching back on the replay, type member in the comments and let us know that you're a member. And if you'd love to be a member of that closed community, anyone is welcome. And just type recovery in the comments and we will show you the way to how to get a part of that closed group. And in the side of this group, we are streaming live events all the time. You'll have exclusive access to uh, recovery conferences and speakers and all kinds of different topics that will be really helpful for you to bring about recovery principles into your daily practice. So before I get into the updates for the week, I want to give you a couple of shout outs. And so let's start with, okay, so these are our shout outs. We have a recovery to practice survey that is circling around. And if you haven't filled it out already, we would love your help in that. I am curious. Carrie Breedlove. I am the Recovery to Practice Program Coordinator, and we are housed here in the University of North Texas. And every year we do a grant survey, and so we would love to have your participation. It certainly helps us with our grant and us collecting data for that grant. And so in order to take the survey, you can follow the link. Just look for RTP survey, and I'm going to be putting out those links um, every week from now to the end of this month of October. And if you complete the survey, com uh, type done in the comments, and we will enter you into a drawing for that $25 gift card. So you don't want to miss out on that. This is the time of year you want a gift card in your pocket, right? So I'm going to give a couple of shout outs to people who have recently taken that survey for us. So thank you so much to Jalissa, to Kay, to Tammy, and Haley. Thank you so much for filling out those surveys for us. And we will get you right entered into that drawing, which we will do live right here on this public page at the end of this month on October 31st. So we definitely hope you will join us for that. Now, just a couple of updates for you. Number one, if you missed out on our seminar yesterday, it was with Dr. Kristen Anderson and she was speaking about the gender, race, ethnicity, youth alcohol intervention outcomes. And that um, speech is in its entirety inside of that community of practice I was telling you about. And if you're not in there and you'd love to have access to that, it was amazing information and we'd love to include you in that community. So just type recovery in the comments and we'll tell you how to get into that community. And then uh, one other thing that is coming up is um, for the faith community is called Hope in Action. And this is put out by SAMHSA, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration. This is a national organization. They are going to be speaking about the practical tools toolkit for the faith community, faith community leaders in particular, in the face of the opioid epidemic. And if you're a faith community leader or you know someone who is, this would be a great webinar for them to attend. And that's actually happening tomorrow. And that will be from 11 to 12 Central Standard Time. And I'll include that link of how to register for that webinar in the description of this video when it's over. So I hope that you will join us inside the Recovery to Practice community here on Facebook. We have some upcoming projects that we could definitely use your help with. And in fact, if you know of anyone who is all about recovery, we are looking for people across the United States from all different regions of the U.S. to speak to us about recovery principles and how they are utilizing those in their area of the country. So if you know of someone that's outside of this south, southern portion of the United States, we would love to connect to them and let us know who they are so that we can incorporate them into what we're doing inside that recovery to practice community. Hope you guys have an amazing week and keep dealing hope out there as you're implementing those principles of recovery into your daily lives. Talk to you soon.